creatively done puzzle games can be a lot of fun if done right, and there's a new one called Kill the Bad Guy now out on PS4. But does this game make you feel like a true hitman, or is the real bad guy the game itself? Kill the Bad Guy is a strategic puzzle game where your goal on each of the levels is to construct a trap in order to assassinate a bad guy of some kind. Before you get the level, you're given a name and details on what the bad guy has done before you jump into the level. Once you're in the level itself, all the bad guys look identical to one another, but the descriptions and all are based on real world like serial killers and terrorists. So just for warning, in case some reason you're easily offended by something like that. All the game's levels are done from an isometric perspective, and you'll move a cursor around in order to kind of see the level itself, see where the bad guy is going, and then kind of get an idea of what you're going to need to do for each stage. There's lots of different items and different traps you're going to be able to set up, from setting up giant slingshots and launching spears at the enemy, tying ropes to pianos and then dropping them on top, using cars to run them over, or using cars to explode and set fire to oil and then burn the bad guy to death. There's a lot of creativity when it comes to setting up and executing each of the traps. There's a total of 60 different levels for you to kill the bad guy along with 6 bonus levels that you unlock for completing a certain number of goals to earn stars. Every level that you complete can have a possibility of 5 stars earned. This is for completing it in one cycle. Basically the bad guy walks through the level and once he goes all the way through he'll go back to the very beginning and start over. It counts as a day cycle basically and your goal is of course to complete everything in one go. You'll also be able to find collectibles such as passports in each of the levels and get the tooth of the bad guy once you kill them. Sometimes the tooth ends up flying completely away from the bad guy when you kill him, so you gotta be paying a little bit of attention if you wanna make sure that you grab that. There's also secondary objectives in the levels as well. While the controls work for the most part, I did run into a tad of stuttering with the cursor itself, and there was sometimes it seemed like a detection issue when it came to grabbing an object and putting where I want it to or being able to interact with things. Sometimes I would have to press the button multiple times in order to get it to do what I was trying to. I wish there was a way also to increase the speed of the cursor itself. You can speed it up by turning up the speed on the level you're on, but that's also of course going to speed up the bad guy and everything else that's going on in that particular stage. There's no options to adjust the sensitivity of the cursor in the options, which just would have been nice. Along with the issues I've already mentioned, there was a bit of slowdown, especially on a couple of levels where there was more objects going on on screen. There's one bonus level in particular with zombies involved, and that seemed to slow things up a tad as more zombies ended up appearing on the screen, making it really hard to interact with what I was trying to do. There was thankfully no crashing though during the course of my gameplay. Kill the Bad Guy is available on the PlayStation 4 for $9.99. It unfortunately does not feature a Platinum Trophy. A lot of the trophies itself are for completing each of the levels, as well as finding all the passports and a few other side objectives as well. Overall, not too bad as far as 100% for the trophies would be concerned. Overall, Kill the Bad Guy is a pretty fun puzzle game with a lot of strategy that will be needed, especially later on in the game, along with just a lot of creative ways to, well, kill the bad guy. If you're someone who likes these strategic puzzle games, you'll probably get some enjoyment out of the game for sure. With everything said, I'm going to be giving the game a 6 out of 10. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.